So after taking the five big personality trait personality traits self assessment, um, I found some of the results to be um, accurate as to what I believe my personality um, consists of. For example, in terms of the extroversion factor, factor one, my score was a 22, which meant that, which means that um, I consider myself um, a person who likes to keep things inside a little bit more of a shut-in as opposed to um, more outgoing. And I also agreed with the conscientious part of the results where it says that I'm careful and diligent. I like to keep things organized and I like to have a set schedule. It's just something that makes me feel more prepared. And also, um, I also somewhat agree with factor five um, in terms of intellect and imagination. I do consider myself to be a little bit more traditional, but I, I kind of feel like I'm in the middle. And um, in terms of comparing my assessments between my regular personality and my online personality, um, basically the, the results were similar, but in terms of my social media personality, the results were more, um, even more. The scores were even lower in some instances. For example, um, for factor three, which was agreeableness, my my score was a fifty six in my regular in my first um in the first results, and it was a twenty five for the online personality. So you could see I, I'm I'm more critical and aggressive when it comes to online online social media. I think the scores for both tests were similar because I consider myself to be the same online or in person. I really don't change this a lot. I like I like to keep things in more private. Even on social media, I consider most of my followers and most of the people I'm following to be more outgoing than I am. So I guess my the people that are associated with me in my social media would see different results for myself as they are more open to putting things on online and posting pictures, sharing their sharing their um their locations, which is something that I'm not I don't know, I just don't do that. And um I tend I tend to hide things um online and in and in the real world. So I say in terms of self disclosure, I um I keep things in um more than the average person. It's just something that is part of me. I don't I don't I don't know, it's just it's just something that I decided to do. And um yeah. Um one way that I do think I would sh I would show some self disclosure on um online would be like if I were to receive some good news, um maybe a job or maybe I got a I got a good grade in, in a certain assignment that I was struggling in or whatever. I would maybe post about it, but that's as far as I'll go. It wouldn't be, I'll probably say, oh, I got the job there and start, I start next week. And then that's it. I'm not, but I wouldn't be doing that for, to show off or anything. It's just something that I guess I'm proud of. So I just want to put it out there, but it's not like I want any reassurance from anyone else. So, I guess that, that would be considered positive online self-disclosure because people can see um, some good things happening. And um, 